Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we are going to be setting up a recurring job for our fixed price agreement type work. So I'm going to take you through how this works and in the next video we're going to look at how we do that for a billable annual job because there is a, quite a different uh, process there. But uh, before we get into it, I want to explain the difference between the two. Now with the fixed price agreement job, what we're doing is we're setting our recurring billing to go out of zero and it sends the invoice back up into XPM. So we're billing in the current financial year. Now when we finish that financial year, we're going to have all of those 12 installments sitting against the job as its budget or as its uh, negative whip. So when we roll over to the next financial year, that job is going to be in the system for 12 months and now it's ready to be worked on. So it's got the 12 installments there and we're ready to start putting our timesheets there, thus reducing the whip in progress on the job or the, reducing the negative whip on the job. Whereas with our annual billable jobs, we treat these a bit differently. We only have the job open for 12 months, so we open the job up at the start of a financial year, but it refers back to the previous financial year. And then what we do is we do our timesheets, and then we send an invoice for the job once it is completed. So with the fixed price agreements, the job is open for two years, and for the uh, annual billable jobs, it's open for one year. So the one year that it's open for the billable jobs refers back to the previous year. And when we set up a fixed price agreement job, it's going to be open for the current financial year and it rolls forward into the next financial year ready to be worked on. So hope that all makes sense. If not, it's going to become very clear over these next couple of videos. So let's jump into XPM and we'll check it out together. So what we're going to do is go to jobs and then over to recurring. And then up on the top left hand side, we've got new recurring jobs. So let's hit that. Now, what we want to do is first think about what financial year are we setting this up for. So <clears throat> right now we are in, on the 4th of December, as you can see there on screen. So we're about to roll in. Let, let's, let's assume when we set these jobs up, we're going to assume that we are a January balance date. I'm just going to keep it easy because this video is going to be sent all around the world with different balance dates. So let's just say we're working to a calendar balance date. So the end of the financial year will be uh, 31st of December 2018. So 1st of January 2019 will be a new financial year uh, for this client here. So what we're going to do is we want to set up, uh, so in the next financial year, so 2019, we're going to be working on the 2018 accounts. So we need to get the 2018 job set up, and we're also going to be creating a 2019 job when it rolls over. So let's do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this job every 12 months, and we need to set this up to be the 1st of January. So we're getting this all prepped to go live on the 1st of January 2019, but we need to have the 20. Uh, 18 jobs set up so we can work on it. Now the client, let's choose uh, Hamilton Smith Limited. And then uh, if we've got a contact loaded, I don't think we do, but no, we've got no contact there, but you choose the contact if that's relevant. We choose our template. So we're going to choose annual accounts, uh, quarterly coaching, and FPA, right? So we're choosing FPA. The reason we've got that is because we want to tag that with the correct job category. That's for our work in progress reporting. So What's really, really important here is we now grab this. So we grab the year and we pop this in here. So what we've got is because it's 2018 when the job has been created, it's going to say 2018 annual accounts plus quarterly coaching. So what we're going to do, you'll see in the next video, but in the next video what we're going to do is because we're going to be setting the jobs up to be created 1st of January 2019, we're going to put this year minus one. So it will say uh, 2018 annual accounts plus quarterly coaching, and that'll be because it's creating for the previous year. This one here, all we're gonna do is say current year, quarterly annual accounts plus quarterly coaching. Now, uh, don't, uh, so don't worry about description, client or number of budget. Uh, we're going to choose the job state to be not in. The duration is going to be 24 months. And then if we know the partner, we're gonna put these in. Let's make Caitlin the job manager and Caitlin working on the job. Great, so when we hit save, what that'll do, because this start date was before today's date, it's gonna create this job for us. So if I go create, if I go save, you see it's created that. Now if I go back to my jobs, you'll see that we've got this job set up just here for, uh, it says 2018 annual accounts plus quarterly coaching. If we scroll down, you'll see that it's brought through all of those template tasks just like that. So that's how we are going to be setting up um, our jobs for our fixed price agreements. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how we set those up for our annual billable jobs. So I'll see you in that video.